Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Welcome to The Advocate and to a buffet of seasoned yet topical issues to provoke your palate and energize you to take action. I'll be saying it straight to the creatives amongst us. Create, don't merely imitate. Seydou stirs your honest nest with his advocacy. He's saying, when all else fails, is it not time to legitimize the so-called forces of darkness and bring them into the light? Ekene straightens out a matter of confusion. She says, the right response to the elderly is neither deference nor indifference. Simi Fajamirokun, our newest advocate, is considering framing an advert to read Leaders Wanted Urgently. The emphasis might well be on the word <laughs> urgently. Liberals, with his finger on the pulse as always, is tackling part two of the Magu EFCC saga. As he would say, it's time to bring out the popcorn. I say settle down and let's get stuck in after the break. The fine line that divides one perceived activity from another can mark the difference between criminal and legitimate. So today I'll be talking about imitation, flattery and plagiarism. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, or is it? Sometimes, is it not the case that the imposter wishes to live off of the work of the original author or performer. A few days ago this last week, I came across a post on Instagram on my friend and artist Rom Isiche's page. He is one of Nigeria's top fine artists. His works are expensive. An unknown artist named Tukuru had tried to reproduce a 2004 work by Rom and a Lagos gallery had posted the inferior copy on their page. The two works are shown here, Rom's first and Tukuru's copy after. So who's to be shamed here, Tukuru or the gallery that posted his work? Has Tukuru learned anything from Rom Isiche's work? I think not. You see, history is replete with inspired works, with new works inspired by older ones, or even other cultures, but never does greatness result from plagiarism. You see, the moment Rom completed that original work in 2004, it becomes available to inspire others. <clears throat> it is possible for another artist to work in the same style, or surely not to try to produce the exact same work. Schools of thought are built around one or more artists. The same in architecture, product design, or fashion design. It is not the act of using Isiche as a springboard that is the issue. If that were the case, he should be flattered and proud that his work has spawned new works by others. Originality is actually an overrated myth anyway. Some years ago, a well-known artist plagiarized the work of another. All was revealed by the art journalist, the soul adventurer. It was such a shameful time. A lot of art is fed by what has come before. But originality lies where the talent of the practitioner reinvents or reinterprets that older work so that something new is gifted to the world. Personally, I really do not care if my work as an architect is an inspiration. I'll be flattered. If it were plagiarized, I would feel sad for the cheat, but I'll still be flattered. So this advocacy is aimed at creatives. Do not call yourself one if you are unprepared to be one. Create, not copy. No to plagiarism. 
Yes, I, I agree. I mean, I, I think your advocacy is very balanced in the sense that, you know, you, you do observe at some point that there's no such, is there really such a thing as original art? Mm -hmm. We know that a lot of what we imitate, so to speak, is taken from something that already was, you yeah. know. Um, even the artist that's drawing a real life person is, is taking from something, Absolutely. you know, even acting and so on and so forth. So the more real, the more, the more identical it is to something you've seen, the more people say, wow, you, you're a good actor, or you're a good uh, artist. Um, but you're right. I mean, at the end of the day, why would you go and take it exactly? And um, when I was looking up the whole area of fan base, because there's a whole area of fan art, yes. you know, um, they, they made an observation that they rarely do prosecute people for plagiarizing. And the reason being that a lot of the fan art artists are not going out to um, exploit. They don't tend to commercialize. Truly, truly, they, they're yes. doing it out of adulation. Correct. And if anything, they try and do it in such a way to draw attention to the original artist. But where you now have the commercial aspect coming in, I feel there's something wrong with that. You know, yes, you don't want to prosecute as the artist, but really, should they be getting away with plagiarism? I'm not sure they should. So it's, it's, it's an open discussion. Yes. As a matter of fact, I mean, liberals, you're, you're, you're a legal man. How do you see, I mean, you know, how do you see it? The problem mostly uh, is the fact that, uh, like here, we always say there are, are actions, there are no consequences to our actions or inactions. Mm -hmm. and, and so since there are no consequences, in some cases, even the man that plagiarized your work will tell you go to hell. Mm -hmm. And that's why we can plagiarize, plagiarize, you know, an entire set of laws without even yes. oh my. bothering to, <laughs> uh, you know, bill. to... <laughs> <laughs> to, live, to even recognize the originality yeah. until we are busted. Mm -hmm. And that's why a professor of law in ABU recently uh, plagiarized the whole uh, work of, you know, and then when they asked him, he said that, um, you know, the original author merely wrote the keynote or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And, and so um, I know that um, um, the matter had been taken up and um, I know they will deal with it. If we, we extend that to all, you know, facet of uh, national, including music. Yeah, you find no, that that music, 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 musical society takes you know such things seriously now, okay. and you must you know seek permission from the yeah. original artist. And uh, so, if there are consequences for such actions, and mm. I, I, especially at, I was um, I was um, I visited uh, Ben on one who's um, at gallery, gallery uh, yes, somewhere yes. in Ikoyi, Ikoyi, and then he the son I met yeah, with the, the son, son yes. he complained bitterly about you know um, an artist who was. Um, you know, uh, plagiarizing his father's that's work cool. and wow. selling them. So and selling, you see, that's yes. The and so my my other cousin and I went to confront that artist. Mm -hmm. And even though he denied it, but we tried to bring them together to, you know, Imagine. discuss it and find mm -hmm. them a solution to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So it's um, you you know how bad it it, it, it can be mm -hmm. when some you 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 create a piece of work, mm -hmm. and then you're not making so much from it, and then somebody out there is making millions from. That your sweat. Even, though now you say even home videos. No, I mean, I'm now thinking of areas where we tend to play. Like we take an, a, like a, maybe a designer outfit. If I want to sew something and I don't want to pay, say, yeah. for, I will go and take the picture of that one yeah. and get my seamstress yeah. to make it. Have I plagiarized? You see what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to pay whatever for Givenchy's whatever or even um, what well, Grey, our own Nigerian. So I will get the style and I'll take it to my seamstress and say, make make this one for me. Yeah, but the thing is, you <laughs> need also to recognize the original creator. And how do I do that? Design. How do I do you that? You know, in some cases you hear, oh, um, uh, this is um, um, Ellen Hardin from so and so. Okay. You know, and then my friend, I remember then in Benin, my friend would say, well, this is a Tonero Agbomaro copied from Helen Hardin. Yes. <laughs> you know? I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's robbery. Um, but we all do it in, it's like, she, you know, like I kind of said, in terms of like taking a picture, I'm going to show the same style. And, you know, there's an angle where there's really nothing new under the sun. You can argue that. Mm -hmm. um, I think the part that hurts is when it's so obvious you away food from someone's mouth. So if you're not going to give credit and then you you know, like I'll talk about the public sector space. So you submit your proposal about this grand new um, thing you want to do or do whatever you want to supply. And then literally, you know, you would see uh, the same proposal, but with another company, uh, uh, company name. Yeah, they just on remove it. So your they first page and last page. Wow, wow, that's terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's just terrible. Yeah. And I also have been on the 
receiving end when um, I was working with one of the state governments and um, so we're given a job to do, a research job to do, an R&D job to do, and then the SA comes and meets me after the meeting and says, we've done it already. Just give us your company logo, your company name, so we'll slap it on the other. That doesn't make sense. I've just been saying, no, we don't want you to spend any money so that we can share. Hmm. We want to share. So wow. just bring it, and we've done it. In fact, see the reports. The report. Wow. <laughs> so it was just, it, it's both on the... Even when I've been on the receiving end and you want to uh, be, be, tell you bring your company logo, they'll just slap it on some firework that was done. I mean, it's the wrongest thing. It just tells the value of the society that Yeah, because now you're talking, I'm realizing that people don't even realize. It's a terrible, disgusting thing. So people do they don't even realize they don't they're realize doing it. the wrong thing. They don't no, they do. They know. They know. No, they, they, don't realize know. they know they are doing the wrong thing. Oh, maybe, oh, so what way is the... Yeah, say do. Yes, I was just going to add quickly that um, this... Plagiarism, it's, there, it, it, it's very huge. It cuts across so many verticals. I mean, I, I, I imagine uh, people, furniture makers, for instance, mm. in other climes, you know, you could have like your piece patented. So some of those people don't even understand their rights. You yeah. don't know that you can actually patent a piece and claim, you know, damages if somebody should reproduce those kind of pieces. So I believe to some extent there's some uh, there's lack of ignorance and we don't have the right uh, legal, uh, what do you call it, framework to enforce like uh, liberals mentioned mm. for people that, you know, uh, violate such such problem. But it is a big problem that a lot of people, you know, they violate without, without even knowing, Yeah. you know. Yeah. So you need to understand first your rights that you can actually uh, legalize this thing. You can pretend them. And then if anybody violates them, there should be... Uh, but I, I guess, say you also, you know, like Simi is saying that it's robbery. You know, maybe the fatigue is also in the fact that you are the one having to pursue that person that has robbed you. Whereas, you know, most, uh, am I wrong? Most of that forms of robbery, Absolutely. the government will take it upon right. themselves to pursue. You now have to, in your own spare time, start chasing down somebody who has, who is probably too poor anyway, because that's why they're plagiarizing. <laughs> so, you know, the, the, the some of them are very rich, not, okay. like home videos. Yeah. Okay. You see the actor, you know, can barely buy a car, mm. but the man who is uh, plagiarizing and mass producing, oh, wow. he's riding in, you know, expensive oh, wow. cars, ah, you know. And so that's why, like you said, that's why government will set up, you know, agencies mm. to ensure that these things are caught. But like all those other minor ones that, including the ones in government, you know, you, the fatigue of you having to run after, in some cases, and that's why when you go to some sh showrooms, they'll tell you no pictures, because yes, uh, yes. they don't want to go reproduce yes. that work. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, thank you all. Um, I'm sure this is something we all think about uh, for quite a bit. Uh, it's, it's a very old problem. So up next, Seidu goes where some might say angels <laughs> fear to tread. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. 